Hey guys, this is a trigger warning for this video. Unfortunately, I will be discussing the mistreatment of cats specifically. Um, you know, nothing too detailed, but if that content is upsetting to you, please skip this one and I will see you on the next one. Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about the French footballer Kurt Zuma and he recently made headlines due to the mistreatment of his cats that was caught on video and I wanted to talk about him and then also talk about what has been done about this horrible event that was, you know, exposed for, for what was really going on. Um, you know, I immediately think of Brooke Houts, I think of Nikki Philippi, even though those <clears throat> are different scenarios, I still think about things like this and because I've covered it before, I wanted to bring this to you guys, get your opinions, share my thoughts. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so one of you emailed me about this and one of my thoughts about it. Now, I didn't know anything about Kurt until I started to look into it. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about his background, kind of what his occupation is and why this is getting such high coverage. This is not just some random person on the internet. He is an athlete and he's very well known. So this not only, um, you know, is upsetting for his fans, it's upsetting for the organization that he's associated with, it's upsetting for any animal lover, or animal advocate that is out in the world that didn't know who he was, but like me, came across this because I'm one of you guys. And so the ripple effect is huge. Based on the news that has come out, I am pretty happy with the steps that have been taken to try to remedy the situation. But before we get there, let me talk about who Kurt is. So Kurt Zuma, he was born on October 27th, 1994. He's a French professional footballer who plays as a center back for Premier League club West Ham United and the French national team. Zuma began his career at St. Etienne, making his professional debut aged 16. He did go on to win another um, tournament in 2013. Zuma joined Chelsea for 12 million euro in January 2014, but was loaned back to the French club for the remainder of the season. He began his first full campaign in England. Zuma helped Chelsea win the League Cup in the Premier League. In July of 2017, he joined Stoke City on a loan for the 2017 to 2018 season. This was followed by another loan move to Everton for the 18-19 season. And he represented France at several youth levels up to under 21. He made his senior international debut against Denmark on the 29th of March, 2015. From what I can tell, he's had a pretty decent career. I mean, a lot of people know who he is and I'm not someone who watches, um, you know, for me, I always think of football and I think of American football, but I'm not someone who watches soccer or European football, which I consider soccer. I know that's a little confusing, but um, he's definitely very well known. And like I said, I think that's why this has had such a ripple effect because not only do um, his fans know him but now a lot of other people are learning about him and if there's one thing that you don't do you do not mistreat your animals or anyone else's animals um point blank period but he got exposed for it and there were steps taken now i am going to put a trigger warning in the beginning of the video if you do not want to hear about this if it's going to upset you hearing about the mistreatment of animals, please click off the video now because I'm going to go through this article and this is the article that actually puts a spotlight on what happened. I'm not going to be playing the video because it is upsetting to watch. I did watch it myself, but I don't want to include that just because I realize how upsetting it is and you guys get the point. He mistreated his animals and this describes a little more. So if you do not want to listen to the rest of the video, please click off. But those of you that are interested, let's get into it. 
it says Kurt Zuma, a star defender on West Ham United, has had his cats taken away by British authorities after a video emerged showing him kicking and slapping them. Earlier this week, The Sun published a video showing Zuma kicking his cat multiple times, slapping it and throwing his shoe at it. The video had been discovered because it was shared by his brother on Snapchat. At the beginning of the video, Zuma drops the cat on the ground and kicks it across the room like a football. The Royal Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals said that Zuma's cats have been taken away from him pending an investigation. The two cats are now in RSPCA care, the RSPCA said in a statement to TMZ. Our priority is and always has been the well-being of these cats. Zuma apologized after the video was published. There are no excuses for my behavior, which I sincerely regret. I also want to say how deeply sorry I am to anyone who was upset by the video. I would like to assure everyone that our two, two cats are perfectly fine and healthy. I hope that they're fine and healthy. I'm pretty sure that they have some major PTSD. And like when anything like this happens, I automatically think this is probably just the first time that you're being caught. This is the first time you're being exposed for it. And so I wonder about the sequence of events that brought us here. Are these cats um, being treated fairly? And this was a one time situation, not saying that's okay at all, but was this a one time thing or was there a lot of different events similar to this that led us to this point? And that's why his brother was recording it. Was his brother kind of like, um trying to expose him you know what what was the deal there they are loved and cherished by our entire family and this behavior was an isolated incident that will not happen again i mean you can take his word for face value um that's a personal decision for me i just always think of is this the only time that you got caught Adidas has cut ties with Zuma over the video, and West Ham has reportedly fined him $340,000, the maximum allowable over the incident. West Ham manager David Moyes, however, chose to start Zuma for the team's win over Waterford on Tuesday. We'll have to see where this investigation goes. I don't know if the cats will be returned to him or if they will just, you know, keep them because of you know the treatment i'm sure that they're going to do a full health exam and a full investigation on this you know these are the rspca are people who are trained to deal with um animal mistreatment animal abuse and you know obviously things that are much more permanent um when when people mistreat these poor animals and i don't understand I will never understand how someone can have it in their soul to mistreat something so pure and precious as a pet. Like, and you guys know I'm a huge dog person. I'm not really a cat person, but that doesn't even matter. That does not matter to me because, um, you know, when, when, you cho when you choose to become an animal um, or a pet owner, the pet is leaning on you fully to make sure that their well-being is being watched over and they're getting food and water and love and attention. It's not something that you get so that you can take your aggression out on it when you're having a bad day or I'm not sure if you think that it's funny because there's nothing funny about mistreating any of your animals. No matter what the circumstance is, I don't care if you just had the worst day ever and you were fired from your job and your wife left you on the same day. There is absolutely no excuse to mistreat an innocent animal that is giving all of their trust and love to this person. So I was really happy to see that the team fined him the maximum penalty. At the end of the day, $340,000 is, you know, probably chump change to him. Let me look up his net worth. His net worth is estimated to be between four and five million U.S. dollars. So considering that, you know, that that is a lot of money to come up off of. Um, granted, you're technically a millionaire, but we're not also talking about $5,000. $340,000 is a lot of money. 
So I'm happy to see that he was charged with that. I hope that the RSPCA's investigation yields some sort of, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if his cats should have to stay outside of the home for an extended period of time. I don't know because I just don't have the trust there. I feel like a part of me is thinking this was the time that you got caught. This is the time that you were exposed for things that might happen on a normal basis inside the home. But then the other side of me is like, maybe it's not. I don't live there. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is he in that clip showed that he doesn't respect his animals. And I always say, if you're not gonna respect and love your animals, then you don't deserve to be a pet owner. So that's, that's my personal opinion on this. I know that this was a heavier video, but today will be a two upload day. So if you didn't wanna watch this one, then go check out the last one that I did. I'm trying to be super consistent for you guys. So I'm gonna get this up right now. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.